This is ultrasound of a 67 years old female. Uh, on the ultrasound image, you are seeing that this is the liver. This is the pancreas, this white band of tissue. This is the screening vein and this, this one as a landmark for the recognition of the pancreas. And this is the sphere mesenteric vein. This is the aorta. And this, these are duodenal bubble gas shadows. In this image, this is the gallbladder, this is the pole, and this is the liver. So, <coughs> now she is having severe right hypochondrial pain, unbearable, excruciating pain she is having. See that the this is the region of the porta hepatis and uh, you can very well see that <coughs> this is the portal vein this is the portal vein this is the hepatic artery in longitudinal section and uh, where, uh, where, where by this is the cbd common by duct that measures sidiojo sidiojo 9.5 uh, millimeters is dilated. Okay. Maji, Sydney, Karo, the Larota. This is the liver, magnified view. There is no evidence of intrahepatic bile duct ectasia at any level. We do see uh, dilated CBD, and in the common bile duct at its distal end we see an ecogenic area now here we can see that uh, there is an ecogenic area seen at the distal end of the dilated minimally dilated common bile duct with this being the portal vein this is the common bile duct. This is the hepatic artery in transfer section now. This is the ecogenic area as a cause of pain, whereas these are power shadows. This is the river. So this is a case of polydopolithiasis presently. Showing you the area, a patient in left lateral decubitus posture, and uh, now this is uh, the cause of severe pain that this old lady is suffering from. No intrahepatic bile duct is yet present. So here we are again. This is the common bile duct and this is the ecogenic area within its uh, distal end. Thank you.